Marcus presents the House of Shock is brought to you by Cox Communications. Now you folks, just be a little, just be a little patient, like good patients. <laughs> All right, I'll have this up in a moment, and you'll get your turn. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> good evening, my dear friends of science, students, and of course, those of the higher order. <laughs> and especially, especially you hospital administrators. You knew it wouldn't be long before I, Morgus, would shake the very foundations of your overpriced palaces. <laughs> and as for you doctors, get ready for the generic generation of medicine. <laughs> the talk of the next AMA convention, fellows and girls, is going to center around the new Morgus do-it-yourself clinics. <laughs> That's right. That's it. Do-it-yourself. It's called DIY. Gentlemen, in order to save money, people are doing it themselves. Everything from pumping their own gas to fixing their own furniture. And I, Morgus, am going to show them how to fix themselves. <laughs> now, don't panic, doctors. Just take uh, one aspirin, a stress tablet, and I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> All right, now. It's the big clearance payoff at Lakeside Toyota Scion, North Causeway at Lake Pontchartrain. We've got 0% APR financing for 36 months on Camrys and Corollas, or a 36-month lease on Camry for just $179 a month, or how about $139 a month on a Corolla? Get $5,000 customer cash back on Toyota Limited Tundra pickup trucks. That's $5,000 cash back, or you can get 0% APR financing for 60 months. That's 0% APR for 60 months. So come on out today to Lakeside Toyota Scion, North Causeway at Lake Pontchartrain. So, you get your TV service through the phone company. You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, did you know they don't offer HD programs on demand like Cox? No HD on demand? I didn't know that. Jeez. I wonder what else I don't know. Do you know those t-shirts are actually made for pregnant women? Wait, what? You will be next, okay? Very well. Oh, <laughs> well, we're getting a lot of action here. I know a lot of you folks are quite excited about a do-it-yourself medical clinic, but this is the way to save money, and this is the way of the future. Your neighborhoods one day will have nothing but clinics. Hospitals are going to be a thing of the past. And with all the machinery and technicians, it's going to be the technician and the machinery that do it in the future. Uh, of course, we've got to make a little money for the clinic. Uh, Chop the cut, counting the money. Just put it back in the cash register. Hurry up. Always loves money. Loves money. Some people just love nothing but money. Okay. Now, let me show you how this works. Step over here before we get into that little movie for you tonight. Uh, of course, everybody knows computers. That's really the thing of the future. And uh, we have a gentleman here looking at, uh, oh, yeah, muscle spasms. He's learning about muscle spasms, and he'll be able to exercise his knee once he learns from this video cassette. See, I make the... I make all kind of cassettes, everything. Well, as a matter of fact, some of my latest books, I want you to get a shot at this. Uh, here's one of my late ones, uh, How to Remove Your Own Organs. Now, that's going to be a big one. Uh, this is another one over here, Brain Surgery for the Beginner. Of course, I, I wouldn't recommend that for everybody. Uh, but, of course, the one-minute uh, one surgeon is going to be a big seller. That, that, that's a good one. I, I did that one last year. And, of course, this is the biggie. This is the biggie. You know, you ever read a medical dictionary? It's full of all kind of Greek and Latin words. <laughs> well, we have translated the medical dictionary from Greek and Latin into English. <laughs> well, that's just the beginning. Step over here. Okay, just keep that up, sir. You're doing a good job after reading that little pamphlet. These are the bunks, and we're going to uh, make them available by rental for about $10 an hour. And of course, as you know, a lot of people will get a little weak after some of the operations that may go on tonight. And you're going to see for the first time people actually operating on themselves right here in the clinic, all because of video cassette modern medicine. <laughs> and uh, here's how we charge. <laughs> well, everybody else does it the same way. You punch into the clinic when you come in, and of course, you put your name down here, and when you're through, you punch out. <laughs> and that's how we know how much to charge. And of course, uh, Chopsley, oh, you got it ready? Oh, yeah. Here's the baby right here. This is going to get a lot of use tonight. You doctors are going to be surprised to know what this is. We make our own aspirin. <laughs> Chopsley, I said, pour it in, Chopsley. All of it. All right. 
Out of boy, Shoffley. Okay. And the way this works is very simply, you know, aspirin is really a coming thing. A lot of people don't realize aspirin's good for a lot of things. We just pull this handle like that. And look at that. Out comes a nice size aspirin. We have the chewable kind. But, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I know what you doctors are thinking right now. <laughs> if you have a do-it-yourself clinic, you don't have to pay malpractice insurance. Because <laughs> after all, they're not going to sue themselves, right? <laughs> well, you think old Morgan's sitting ahead of the industry, huh? <laughs> well, our friends, we're going to be ahead of a lot more. Uh, let the station kind of have a little fun with their entertainment tonight. Uh, they promised us a good one, so uh, let's give them a few minutes and we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, patients. Yep. 40. Thank you, doctor. I feel better already. I'll bet you feel better. Give him all the aspirins, Chopley. Take every one of those aspirins and tell your friends about us. <laughs> okay. Let's see how Smith is doing here. All right? You're learning it, huh? Doc, do I have to be here all night? Uh-uh. Nobody's going to be here all night. <laughs> In fact, oh, yes, folks, we're going to be closed at midnight, so this clinic closes down. I'll get... Doc. What? Where's your delivery room? The delivery room? Oh, all supplies over there in the next room. No, no, Doc, you don't understand. It's my wife. She's having a baby. Oh, delivery, yes. Oh, well, we have a, we have a booth here. Only $20 an hour. That's fantastic. Sign up right Please. here. Put your name right there. That's right. If you folks are delivering babies, we have cassettes and books, and it's a simple procedure. As a matter of fact, bring her in right away here. All right, we'll punch in uh, Kaplan here. One baby coming up. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're going to right in here. We're going to have a baby. <laughs> All right, you go right in there, and, uh, oh, you have to get a cassette. Uh, this is my latest cassette by Moma Say Morgus on birthing babies, and the hot water's right there. You follow these instructions carefully, okay? All right, now, oh, we got an emergency. Uh, how'd that happen, fella? I cut myself at home, Doc. I guess you did. Oh, I got a guy that needs blood. Come here. We may be able to work a deal with him. Uh, I can save you a little money, uh, Adams. Hold on here. I'm going to take this out. Yeah, you came at the right time. As a matter of fact, I, uh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Uh, here, we're going to plug into you, Adams, right here. And we're going to give you some blood directly. You won't have to have this glucose. You won't have to, ha oh, watch. Don't get the blood all over the card, Chopsley. All right, uh, let's just hold it right here. You hold that down there for me. There you go. And we want to get all of that little blood that's going away. <laughs> that blood is going to waste right there, you know. <laughs> okay, you hang on to that. All right, hey, we're going to help you. and going to help this guy, all right? You just keep your hand up like that, and he's going to get some of that, and we'll clean you up later. All right. Now, oh, all right, Dr. one more. Dr. Morgus. Hello. Can you help me? What's your problem? Well, I want to lose weight. Not all at once, just a little at a time. Oh, you want to lose a little? Oh, well, you don't have to sign in. In fact, we have a, we have a little kit to somebody okay. like you. Come on over here. Uh, oh, yes, I'm glad you came in. This is what we have. This is a little uh, weight loss kit. I put this together. It's a simple idea. Uh, you doctors pay attention to this. This may look like a regular balloon, <laughs> but you ladies and gentlemen out there that want to lose weight, all we do, this is going to sound ridiculous to you, ma'am. Now, don't be, don't be frightened by this. This is not real rubber. This, this actually disintegrates in the stomach after about three days. But you can pump it up like this. Watch what happens. Hold on to this. Just hold that right by your stomach. Now, just to take your hand away there. Just hold it like that. You'll see what happens. You see it pumping up like that? <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens? It pumps up and it stays in your stomach by two or three days and then it melts. The acids in the stomach eat it and suddenly it breaks like that and then of course you get hungry again. But for three days you won't be hungry. Now here's, here's a little kit just like that. I want you to, uh, in fact we'll give you a little demonstration. You take that out of there and uh, yeah, you see it has a little long tube like that. Mm -hmm. Now you, you put this in your mouth. You put this, no, 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 you put this end in your mouth. You put the whole thing in your mouth. Just push it in. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Everything. Push it all up. Push it all, all, all the way down. All the way down. Keep everything. No, just keep going. That's it. She's, keep it going. That's it. Look at that. It's going all the way down her stomach. All right. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Now, now we got a little trick. <laughs> you doctors watch this. I'm going to plug right into that. And we're going to uh, blow up your stomach a little bit. <laughs> now let it go. And we'll see how this starts to swell your stomach a little bit. And of course, you're going to lose your appetite now. That'll last for three or four days. And then the gastric juices in your body, watch it let go. 
Okay, now, you see, the balloon stays filled. How does that feel? I feel like I've had a full meal. <laughs> I'll bet you do. Wonderful. All right, you see, ladies, that's how that works out there. Here's another kit. All you have to do is follow the instructions, pay chocolate on your way out, all Thank right? You, Thank you. All right. We're going to sell these kits, of course, uh, very reasonably. Uh, uh, I would Doc! Say that Doc! It's a boy. It's a baby boy. We've got a baby boy delivered by television. You did it. You did it, fella. All right, hold it right there. Hold it. Uh, you folks run back to the other entertainment. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, I want to congrat chop for you. Saturday night when I go for my date. My baby and I just sit and wait for Margus. Magnificent. Morgus is back like we all remember him, appearing throughout classic films of the 30s, 40s, and 50s. We don't go out to roll and rock. We get our kicks from the house of shock. Don't miss Morgus Presents The House of Shock. New episode every Saturday at 10 p.m., only on Cox 10. Boy, it's a girl. It's a girl. Hey. Mr. Kaplan delivered another baby by video cassette. I knew it could be done. All right, let's give that to that gentleman over there. Uh, sir, would you watch this little baby? All right, get back to your wife, by the way. And I'll, I'll be with you folks in just a little while. Oh, uh, just sign in right there, please. All right, we're getting a little busy here. Chopsley, we're running out of aspirin powder. Make some more up. Hurry, hurry. Hey, you even know how to sign in, don't you? Who are you? My name is Harry Houlihan. Say that again. My name is Harry Houlihan. I know what's wrong with you, fella. I have halitosis. Uh, yes, I... Look, look. Ooh. Don't say anything with the letter H, okay? How's that? I said, don't say any word with the letter H. How come? Because you are a living gas main, that's why. How long have you had this? Heaven only knows. My wife Harriet noticed it. Well, <laughs> Well, look, you have a serious problem, fella. We're going to have to have a little surgery on you. Surgery for bad breath? I, uh, I never heard of surgery for bad breath. Well, you've never come to the right doctor before. Get up here. Chopsley, get say, ready. Harriet's going to be all... She'll be all concerned. Uh, uh, oh, listen, hold on just a minute. I'll bet that's Harriet. Uh, that's not her. Probably more of my patients. Hello, Morgus. Yes, he is. Yes, it is for you. Oh, okay. Hello? Uh, not so good. They're going to operate. Bad breath. Hello? Hello? Oh, they hung up? She hung up. She, oh. She's on her way over here. Oh, uh, Harriet's coming. Yeah, don't worry about Harriet. We'll, 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 we'll surprise her when she gets here. Look, you have to be operated on. Shopsley, get over here quickly. Just sit right up here and put your head right there. This, this won't hurt at all. This will be very quickly. We're going to deaden your stomach. You're going to have to... No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're going to dead in your stomach. You won't feel a thing. Get, come on, Shopley. Let's hurry up. Get this all ready. Uh, by the way, look, you just can't lie there. You're going to have to help us. Take this coat off. Uh, look, fella, this is a do-it-yourself clinic. You've got to help out. Okay. Shopley, put this coat over here. All right. Roll your sleeve up a little bit here. All right. We're going to give you a little intravenous shot here. Shopley, get the tape right here. Okay. There you go. That's good. Okay. Here, I want you to do this yourself. You do this yourself. See that vein right there? I'm going to squeeze it. You push that in a little bit. Uh, all right, all right. Now you got it. Now let me put this. You see, we're making everybody cooperate. Everybody has to, has to help out themselves. All right, just relax now. Let it down here. Now we're going to give him a shot in the stomach, Chopsley. Let's cover him up first. Okay. Now you doctors must consider this a little unusual, but you've got to remember that... Uh, all right, give me the scissors. No, not yet, Chopsley. I've got to open... Open up to, we got to keep it clean here first. We got to keep a hole in here. Okay, this is where we go. We open up his stomach. And get this open right here. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, sir. Don't worry, this is going to be all right. Now we'll give you a little shot right in the belly button. Oh, here it is. I told you to keep this. Okay, watch, this will hurt just a little bit for us. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, now we've got him. Okay, Chopley, prepare for surgery. Give me the scalpel. Now, what we're going to do is just open up here quickly, Chopsley. We're going to open up the stomach, and uh, if we open the stomach, we'll get in there and do a little scaling of the walls of the stomach. That's what causes halitosis, as a matter of fact. Okay, this will be a quick... Now, do you feel this? No, you don't feel that. You don't feel that. It's dead, isn't it? All right. 
Uh, I'm just going to cut about eight inches. <laughs> okay, let's get my gloves, Chosley. Now, you just, you just lie still there, fella. A uh, quick little, little look in there and we get the gas right out of there. Okay. Well, doctors, as you can see, this is very quick. He doesn't feel a thing. I'm just going to get my fingers down in there and open it. Oh, whew. I got to see down on there, Chosley. Hand me the flashlight quickly. Hand me the flashlight. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't work. Let's get some batteries in here. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I can't see in there. I got to put batteries in there. It's hard to see what's going on <laughs> with all that gas. You can... What? What? Go ahead, uh, roll, roll, roll back to that story. Uh, this will be all right. This will be all right now. Don't go away. We'll be back in a few minutes. What did you do? Huh. All right, Miss Kelly. Keep the change, Doctor. It has been marvelous. All right, all right. And don't forget your, your aspirin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. All right, Shasta, you got more aspirin? That's enough. That's enough. Let's bring it over here to the bunk patients. Well, friends, <laughs> I see you. Really excited about this. We've been getting several telephone calls. Oh, Harry, how are you? Uh, yeah. All right, Harry. All right, you, you take a couple of these aspirin. Just take three or four of them. Aspirin is the best thing. All right, fellas, take some more of these aspirin. I'll give them several, Chopsley. Here, give the other fellow some here. I got to go see how Josh is doing. Uh, Josh, how you doing? Oh, I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, you're doing it right. You're do have you been reading the book? I've been reading the book, though. Okay. What we have here is a fellow who is taking out his own appendix. <laughs> right here. He has a mirror. He can see everything, and he's following the instructions. Yeah, give him. Here, Josh, stop a minute and take a couple of aspirin. Now, just chew them. Just chew them. Just keep taking them. I'm going to put a few of them here, and I want you to take one about every 10 oh, minutes, all right? Thank you, Doc. Put that back. All right, friends. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Josh. You didn't read the book, fella. It said to put on the gloves. Oh, uh, hold, hold on, hold on here. Oh, by the way, for you patients out there, you recognize these little plastic gloves? <laughs> Guess where Chopsley found them? You don't have to buy surgical gloves. He got them at the diesel gasoline station. <laughs> they give them out. When you pump your diesel gas, you get these free so you don't get your hands dirty. Look at that. They're perfect for surgical gloves. Josh, I'll put these on here. As a matter of fact, you check at your gas station, you'll see that you can put these gloves on. And uh, they're perfect for uh, gardening and for anything like that. There you go. Great, great. All right. <laughs> oh, we got another patient. Excuse me, Josh. Yes, uh, what's your problem, sir? Doctor, I've got terrible migraine headaches. I've, I've had them for weeks. Well, how how this happen? It was an accident, and I jammed my shoulder, and I've, I've had terrible headaches. Well, all, right, all right, all right. If you had headaches, here, take, take a couple of aspirin right away. Uh, I tell you what, uh, you may need a shot of a cortisone in that shoulder. Oh no, um, no, no, any, no shot. I don't take shots. I'm afraid what? of shots. Oh, Terrified. anything, I'm almost. All right, all right, I know, I know. You step over here. I got a little something for you. Have you ever heard of? Uh, have you ever heard of acupuncture? <laughs> no, well, it, no it, it, that's needles too. Basically. Oh no, no, no. Look, I, needles. Yes, they're not needles. Look, bamboo. See this? It's an old Chinese method. I don't know. No, they, they're, they're pointy. I'm telling you, you won't feel a thing. Look, roll up your sleeve. I'll show no, you something. No, I, I can't look. Uh, can uh, you do it through the shirt? Through the shirt? Oh, all right, all right. I'll do it through the shirt. Put your hand right here. Now, look. No, no, you can look at it. Just, just relax. No, relax. Look. look. I, you see I this point? Look. look, look. You can. All right, all right. I'm going to show you how I this works. Look. You hold steady. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm just push something and you won't feel the thing. I'll twist it. All right. Start wiggling your fingers a little bit. I'm pushing it in now. All right. All right, you feel that? <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. I got another one to go in over here. All right. <laughs> All right. Hold it, hold it, hold it. One more in here. One more in here. <laughs> you see how it works? You're not feeling that. All the pain is going to go away. You watch. You just stay right there. Okay. One more, one more, one more, one more. One right here, one right here. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, now hold it right there. Uh-uh. No, no. You you can't be feeling anything now. <laughs> no, the pain's all gone, doctor. Well, see, that's what acupuncture's all about. Went all the way up to the brain nerves. <laughs> now, look. 
You have to leave those sticks in for about six hours. Then you twist them out slowly, and I guarantee you your migraine headaches will be gone for good. Thank you, doctor. All right. Listen, uh, oh, that'll be uh, 20 bucks, please. Uh, all right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who's next? Uh, oh. oh, Kaplan. Oh, one more, huh? Oh, congratulations, fella. Get out there and come right back to your wife. Oh, boy, this is amazing. <laughs> Listen, uh, I know you folks are anxious to get back to that little story, so why don't you go ahead and roll back to the movie, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> all right, Chaffley, look. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. You did a very good job. I don't feel too well, Doc. You don't feel too well? Oh, well, don't worry about it. We're going to get, get him some more aspirin over there, Chaffley. We're running out of aspirin. We're not... Giving these people enough. I'd like to have some chicken, Doc. Some chicken? Oh, yeah. Well, you'll feel much better. We're going to have... In fact, we got to take... Oh, yes. Uh, we got to get these these orders here. You want chicken? Yeah, you see, in most clinics, uh, if you're going to stay, uh, especially up to midnight, we have to feed them just like any other hospital. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, hey, you people over here, uh, what will you have? Chicken. Chicken? Oh, he's having chicken also. Two chickens. What will you have? Roast beef. Roast beef. Oh, yeah, we can have roast beef. One roast beef. Okay, Harry. What I'm we... weak, Doc. I need steak. Oh, yeah, that'll make you strong. Mm. One steak. Okay. You see, <laughs> we have it just like any hospital. <laughs> uh, ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. All right. Uh, All right. By the way, Doctor, uh, most hospitals have uh, something to watch, like uh, television. Do you have anything like that? Uh, television? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, Chopsley watches television. Yes, it'll cost you five bucks, but, you know, like any other hospital. Step on down here. I'll show you. All right, Chopsley, get the food ready, will you? Uh, oh, here's the order. Yeah, all the order, steaks and eggs. All right, step right over here. I want you to sit down right here in the chair. Uh, <laughs> this may surprise some of you people out there. I have a little telescope here. Uh, Chopsley does this. You see, I want you to look at that window over there. You see that big window over there? One of my neighbors in that building has a big 42-inch television. Can you see it? <laughs> yes, Doctor. It looks like a good movie. <laughs> well, just keep looking at it. You can't hear the words, but I tell you, usually he's looking at some pretty good movies, so uh, <laughs> enjoy yourself. Uh, well, you know, we kind of look in on the neighbors, but he's looking at a pretty good movie. What are we going to do? Oh, no. One more? I knew there was another one in there, Kaplan. Okay, you go in outside here and hurry up back. Oh, my. Honey, uh, just take it easy in there. Take it easy. You're going to be all right. Oh, boy. We're making medical history right now. Oh, I tell you. How you doing? How you doing, Carter? Doing great. Doing great. All right. Hurry up, Chopsy. Bring it over here. Well, we're ready to serve. Uh, let's see. Let's give Harry his first. Okay, Harry. Here go. Yeah, steak. Right, Just hold right here. Give him some steak, Chopsy. Get him some steak. Oh. All right, all right. It's ground up. It's ground up, Harry. Just, just try to enjoy it. Listen, don't complain. I mean, this is the same food all hospitals serve, believe me. All right. Who's next here? Let's give him. What does this guy have? You had what? Chicken? Chicken, Chopsley. Chicken. All right, chicken. Chicken and uh, one spoon for you. All right, enjoy that. That's delicious chicken. And what did you have? Roast beef. Roast beef. One roast beef, Chopsley. All right, that's good, son. Okay, very good. Okay, and the other fella had ham and eggs, I believe. Give him some ham and eggs. All right, his ham and eggs will be right up here. Okay, now, oh, it's Shopsley here. You can have the rest. All right, are you folks that want to come on down, remember, this will eventually be be uh, available to you doctors out there that want to start franchises. Now, of course, you will have to have a medical background, and we're going to have seminars here at the University of Morgus Research Center, so those of you in the medical profession can set up your own do-it-yourself clinics. So I want you to get in touch with me. Just write to me, Morgus, of course, in care of the station, and uh, we'll be able to get you the information of how you can do this. Uh, the rest of you, run back to the end of that little entertainment, and we'll be right back. Big things are coming. <laughs> Uh, Chopsley, what? All right, all right, you, you'll be all right, you'll be all right. Uh, well, friends, <laughs> everything's working out okay here. My friend Mr. Carter's going to be okay. Chopsley, oh, more aspirin. How no about more aspirin. No more aspirin. No more. Did you put the aspirin in the food? No. Okay, he'll, he'll be all right. It's going to take effect in a little while. Well, that movie was quite enjoyable. I, I hope you enjoyed the little entertainment the station put on. 
And of course, uh, as you can see, this is absolutely fantastic, and we're getting all kinds of calls, so hang in there for just one more minute, and we'll be right back. Now look, you got to take us. August presents the House of Shock, available only on Cox. All right, all right, all right, Carter. I, I see, you see, you're quieting down already. I knew the aspirin would help. <laughs> Well, friends, uh, Mr. Carter's quieting down here, and of course it's getting late, <laughs> so we'll be closing down the old do-it-yourself clinic. But imagine what we have showed tonight. Every neighborhood in this country will eventually have its own do-it-yourself medical clinic, and you see how it works. <laughs> we have helped my good friend Mr. Carter and all of my good friends here. We... Oh, hey, wait a minute. Hey, what happened to you? You were watching a movie. Something you saw in the movie? Hey. Hey, speak to me. Shoffley, Sh Shoffley, what did you give this guy? Oh, no. Shoffley, you got the aspirin? What did you give this guy? What? Wait a minute. You've been putting, you've been putting boric acid in there? Not aspirin powder? You idiot. Boric acid. That's roach powder. That's roach powder, boric acid. You diabolical dummy, get out of here and go play with the roaches. Oh, oh, hey, oh no, Carter. Carter, what happened? What's happening? What's, what's going on? Hey, fellas, they're all, Harry, Harry. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, where's who? My husband, Harry. Uh, 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 he's over, he's over there. He's over there. My gosh, they're dropping like flies. No, like roaches. Harry, uh, listen, Harry, everything will Harry. be okay. Uh, <laughs> Eric, yes, yes, Eric, uh, Eric. Uh, we, what will we do, Eric? What will we do? Call a doctor, master. Oh, no, you idiot. Uh, no, listen, Eric. I mean, what does he know? Uh, friends, uh, listen. You, you people down at the station, uh, uh, look, I have an antidote for this. Uh, yes, I have one in my medicine chest here. Don't, don't, don't cut me off. Please, don't cut me off. I'll be, I'll be right back here. Hold on. Uh, we have something. We, we have Tune something. in next week when Morgus, the Magnificent, takes us into the realm of science. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Our viewers, Morgus presents the House of Shock.